Hi guys, my name is Idris Ali and I'm the owner of Westside Real Estate. I'm an Airbnb super host in, here in Nairobi, Kilimani, and I started my journey two and a half years ago when I was in my second year in Riyadh University. So I was uh, in real estate at the beginning, tried also getting a job, but I couldn't. I went to the top uh, real estate firms like uh, Haas Consult, uh, Val real estate and uh, all of them were not uh, willing to hire me so I went and uh, opened my own business I was operating for two years with uh, only a business name which I know was uh, very risky but in the end uh, I was able to take risks because I was young and uh, I stumbled across Airbnb and uh, I actually just started uh, with one unit I went to the owner and uh, explained to him how our business works and we were able to rent the apartment short term and uh, we got clients. Yeah. So after a while we started making connections with more landlords and right now we are at 8 listings and we have a new project with 10 listings and uh, at least we are one of the main super hosts when it comes to Kilimani. When people are searching for houses they usually book ours and uh, that's all about our business. The challenges I faced in this business were a lot of people didn't know, didn't know about the business and uh, it was really hard to convince them at first about short-term rentals because we were able to bring clients for a week because it was a furnished unit and uh, some of them were like worried they're thieves, they didn't know that Airbnb had their own policies on how uh, the security deposits were supposed to be done. Payments are also received beforehand, so we never have to chase people for money. And uh, explaining to the owners of the apartments was hard at the beginning, and uh, they actually started uh, trusting us when they first gave us one unit. Then we made a little money for them, uh, got a small commission, and we were able to start our business. And uh, also, we have a lot of uh, competition around, and their services are really bad. So. You rent another fellow Airbnb host's house and it turns out that there is no towels, there is no, basically the services you'd uh, expect. What we try to do is give uh, the services that hotels would offer. Like right now we are at a five bedroom penthouse and uh, we are able to host eight people in this apartment and it's much more affordable than uh, renting an average hotel. So that's uh, our business. The issues that we have faced is uh, basically it was that yeah the service uh, was really spoiled by other clients. Yeah. Uh, if I was to encourage the young entrepreneurs in Kenya, I would say that you should take your risks because you only have one life, and uh, you should take your risks when you're young. Yeah. When you're young, you should. Uh, be able to take opportunities when they come because uh, let's say you start getting to 30 years and you try and open your own business and you have kids at that time yeah you have uh, bills to pay your apartment let's say you have rented you have to pay that and as an entrepreneur there sometimes you don't make uh, money the past the first uh, six months that i was starting my business i was making less than uh, ten thousand and uh, at least right now we are making at least a good amount of money per month and we're able to pay our bills and uh, actually we look at growing our business. Yeah. So you have one life and take it when, you, when it comes.